Hey guys, it's today's Technical Connect, and I know it's been a long time since I made a video. I'm sorry about that. I've been a little preoccupied with life. But I'm back, and I'm going to start um, doing a lot more Mac uh, as opposed to PC things because I finally got my hands on a Mac, and one of my first tutorials is going to be how to set up the new OS X uh, Yosemite developer preview onto your existing uh, Maverick installation. Here we go. Okay, guys, so if you go to this website, uh, you can download this file here, OS X Yosemite DP2. There's also the first one, DP1. Um, I believe I just downloaded DP2 and it worked. You can do it as a direct or a torrent, uh, whatever suits you best. Once you download the file, you will have... Okay, once you download the file, it'll look like this icon right here. Now, what you want to do is, if you have Maverick already on your system, you're going to want to go to your Finder and you're gonna, your uh, Spotlight, I'm sorry, and you're going to want to go to um, the Disk Utility. In Disk Utility, you, you highlight the disk that you uh, want to partition. And then you click the partition option and you click the uh, plus button. This will create a separate partition. And once you hit apply, it'll ask if you're sure you want to partition it. Just hit partition and it'll start the process. This won't interfere with your current system. Although I have to do a disclaimer that if you do have boot camp installed um, and you use that to boot, into Windows, I'm not sure, 100% sure, what the results would be. So please use caution if you do this. Um, yeah. Okay, so once that's done, now we have two partitions. Um, and this one we can just, oh, well, I probably should have named it before I did it. But uh, in any event, what you're going to do is you're going to find that Yosemite file that you had, which uh, for me, it's uh, right here. And you're gonna double click that app. Hit continue, agree, agree. And you're gonna hit show all disks. And what you wanna do is point it to whatever you name this. In my case, it's HD2, you could name it Yosemite. Um, but that's the deal. And then give it your credentials. And I'll start installing on that separate partition. So this way it doesn't touch any of the uh, files or settings that you have on your Maverick partition. So we'll just wait for this to finish. All right. So once it's done, it'll say ready to install. And you just have to click uh, restart. Now, once I hit this, I'm going to lose screen recording. So I'm going to switch over to my phone. starting
Okay, so once we um, finish the installation process, it brings us to the welcome page, and uh, from here you can just continue on. Uh, I'm just going to do this right now. Could just put anything here, guys. Just uh, this is just for demonstration sakes. And there you have it, Yosemite, on a separate partition, separate from your Maverick partition. Okay, so now let's, if we go back to the finder, which is, oh, okay, let me go back to disk utility. Now your primary drive is HD2. So if you restart, this is going to boot up to Yosemite first. It's not going to boot up to Maverick. Let's take a look at the partition space here. And it's using, using about half of this little partition I made here. The blue indicates U space. The white indicates empty space. All right. Just in case you guys didn't know. So now I'm sure you're curious if you want to go back to Maverick. How is that going to work? Well, the quickest way for me is to go to Finder and just type in startup, startup disk. I didn't see it come up here. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And then um, if you want to go back to Maverick, all you got to do is just click that partition and hit restart. That simple. So now you'll have two working systems on one hard drive that you can switch back and forth as many times as you want. Um, I'll have more Mac tutorials in the future. And if you have anything that you're curious about that you want me to go over or do a tutorial about, just leave me a message in the comments section. Later.